Okay, so I bought a, uh, a 4K dash cam, and we're going to be putting that in today. We're going to be putting it in a 2016 uh, GMC Sierra. It does have dual cameras. Uh, I don't know yet if I'm going to install the rear, but we'll see. Uh, this was a, was a very highly rated camera, which is one reason I bought it. had a lot of good ratings um, and reviews. So... The first thing I'm going to do, we're, we're going to take this out of the box and kind of take a look at it. And then we're going to take a look at the truck and see what we're going to have to do to get this installed and wired up. Um, I like to hardwire these. I don't, I've got dash cams in every vehicle we own. And I don't like to just plug them into the cigarette lighter. you got a cord hanging down or running across your dash or whatever to, to get to the cigarette lighter. So I'll show you how we do that. And they sell kits, hardwire kits for these, but there's no reason to buy one of those. This has already got everything you need <clears throat> to uh, to be able to hardwire it. You just gotta gotta work a little bit at it, and, but I'll show you how to do that. Um, so let's go ahead and open this up. And let's see what we get. I haven't even I've had this thing for almost a year now, and when I ordered it, I also ordered it with the uh, uh, 128 gig uh, SanDisk Ultra um, SD card. So let's see what we get in the box. This looks like the rear camera. Okay, so it actually uses a, uh, I don't know what type of USB connector that is, but it uses one of those USB style connectors. It's kind of, I, I wasn't expecting that. I was kind of expecting just like a, a, uh, Little three and a half millimeter audio jack type. So we got USB here, AV, and then rear. Um, I guess this has got a GPS module built in it. I didn't. I didn't know that. Of course, once this is stuck to your window, your windshield. The camera here pivots to where you get the you know the, the perfect angle, and we don't want to re uh, forget to remove the uh, protective film right here on the lens itself. That right there would be for a reset, and then you got your micro SD card, got a mic for the sound. So, okay, your power is coming in here on the top. Not sure what the USB would be used for right here, but we haven't read the instructions yet, so. I guess if you register, you get an 18-month warranty. And then you got the manual here. Got some extra... Well, that's nice. And these actually look like they are very high quality. I don't know if they're 3M or not, but I can just tell by looking that the uh, these are the, the very high quality double-sided tape. And they obviously, you know, it comes with the double-sided tape on both cameras. Now this has got a very heavy, I was kind of hoping this would be a really thin uh, cord, but that's actually pretty heavy. So that what this would require is a lot more disassembly of the headliner to get this, uh, you know, stuck along the trim to run it to the back. So this might also be a determining factor whether I want to install the rear camera or not. If it was just a thin, uh, 
thin wire you could just shove it up into the trim real quick and easy of course there you got a USB uh, adapter and the power cord looks like it's the same real heavy heavy duty uh, it just plugs into a USB port got some stick on clips I guess if you needed to stick these somewhere to secure the cord and then it looks like they even send a uh, USB adapter for the SD card so that you can plug it into your computer and get the footage and I guess uh, what is this I guess that's a screen protector uh, I'm not sure what that is we'll have to read about that and it even comes with a trim tool so the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to th thumb through the instruction manual real quick but I also want to find out where I may want to get my power from uh, I wasn't actually expecting a USB adapter uh, I was actually expecting it all to be built in and this just plugged into one of the 12 volt outlets so now I've got to figure out exactly how I want to uh, tap power for this USB cord not going to be much of a problem I just got to figure out you know what I'm going to do here so with that said let me I'm going to shut the camera off. I'm going to read a little bit on the instructions just in case there's some good pertinent information that needs to be uh, talked about. And then we're going to figure out where we're going to get this mounted up and uh, go from there. Okay, so I just plugged the camera in to this USB. Uh, charge pack, whatever you want to call it, power pack, and I'm just gonna we're just gonna walk around, and we're gonna see what kind of footage. We can get here. 